Alright, so... What next? Whoa. All right, let's Lots of light. This first test involves something the lab here. call repulsion gel. You're not hmm. part of the control group. Wait anyway. a second. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue hmm. paint. <laughs> oh, We're in one of those uh, big sphere thingies, and it says you are here in this sphere. Look at how many there are. This place is huge. It really is. Alright, I wonder what happened to Gladys. Like, where... Well, she's a potato, but... I wonder where that... Didn't a bird take her after we landed? After that big fall? Alright, so we have some gel here. Bouncy gel. What do you say? Repulsion gel, I think that was? So... Let's see, we have to get up there. So if we... get up there we should be able to bounce down and over I would assume but how do we get up there hmm it's a good question um, I suppose what we could do is oh there we go I didn't see that one guess that'll open up the exit and it's a button over there see what that does. Oh, there's one of those. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. So, go back up and set this on the button, and then we should be able to exit. Well, that wasn't that hard. It's pretty easy. Me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. <laughs> uh, right. Where are we supposed to be going? There. Okay, so... For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA that? molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. So I think that's what he's, the messages are coming from. I just noticed that sitting there. What was he saying? They, dealt, they gave you tumors? Wow. Just for science. Alright, I think that we have to go... Oh, yeah, that works. And... Now, where's the button? Looks like there'd be a button up there. I think. Yeah, I think there's a button up there. Alright, how to get up there are those that... Oh, there's a button right there. Right, there we go. So, what'd that do? Oh, I see. It put a panel here. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So now I can... Yeah, I was right. There's a button right there. So if we bounce across... That was a bit of a fail jump. Try that again. There we go. Alright, so what do we have here? Okay, I'm guessing I bounce onto this into the wall. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. That works. Alright, grab this and same thing back, I'm guessing. Okay, so either this opens an exit or gives me another panel. Yeah, it gives me another panel. Alright, so then I should be able to just jump off and bounce to the exit. Hmm. Oh, in case you got covered, wasn't too hard. Gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. 
do not get covered in the repulsion gel. <laughs> we haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. They don't even know what, the, uh, what element the repulsion gel is? Wow. That's kind of funny that they don't even know what element the repulsion gel is. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. Hmm. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. Oh, wait. Can I just walk across here? So wait, did he just say that doing these tests is gonna make you die sooner? Hmm. That's kind of harsh for people who supposedly volunteered to uh, do this science. Let's see what we can see from up here. Oh, I see. There's an exit thing up there. So we need to go... Looks like we can get up there, possibly. Yeah, we can. Alright, so if I get up there, and we'll see what we can see. Oh, there's a room. Alright, that makes sense. <laughs> there we go. Your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counters um, said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Ramps are expensive. Whoa. So that'll shoot through the portals, and so we need to oops, wrong one. Let's get this floor covered up. Uh, whoops, wrong one again. Get the floor covered up with this gel. See what we can. Uh... Oh yeah, that works. I can just like shoot it up and then move the portal out of the way. Okay, so that should be enough. I'm imagining we have to get up here. Looks like. All right, and then. Alright, so there's the exit, and we've got a big gap, just water at the bottom. So it looks like what we have to do is we have to fling ourselves over. So, imagine we're supposed to jump over to here, and then can we just put that there and... Alright, that works. Jump up, and portal here. Portal down there and jump. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I think I know what we have to do then. I think what we have to do is we have to take the gel, shoot the gel over first so it will have something to bounce off of. Yeah, I think that's. That should work. Alright, let's see. Yep, there we go. Alright. Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Okay, this place is dangerous. All the stuff that he's said in these uh, recordings or whatever, he's been telling me about this now, danger and that danger. Kepler 7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you forgot it's even. What's that? But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Um. Oh, there's a button.
if I bounce up to that button, I think that's water it looks like, because it's just splashing about. I wonder what water does. Okay, so that stops the water, and then we've got this over here. So let's see. Oh, I see. The water neutralizes the gel. Alright. <clears throat> so, if I then bounce up and press that to turn the water off, and then I jump up. There. There we go. That'll work. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. Alright, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. <laughs> so wait, so it's like... Wow. Time travel. Wait, how would this in... Whoa. Have time travel involved. Alright, well that, I think we need to, once again, use the whole shoot that through there technique. And then... Yeah, that works. Okay, so... It's down here. Oh, so this is... Okay, I see. So this is that room down there. Alright, well let's see what we have up these stairs. We've got a little thing. Elevator? No. Okay, so I think we need to get up there then. So we've got a bunch of surfaces. Hmm, well this looks like it's just for falling. And then... I want to get up there. If we put this here... We're going to need gel. I wonder if we can... Grab... We can. There we go. Alright, yeah, that should work. Alright, put the orange there, and we'll see what happens. Yep, there we go. That was... That was actually very easy. Uh, I'm guessing we put one there and here, and there we go. This, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalks between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm a beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Now let's solve this thing. Hmm. So we've got this in here, and I'm guessing we need to put that there, it looks like, and then water? Alright, no, let's try the gel. Oh, yep, that's doing something. Oh yeah, it's definitely doing something. Whoa, I'm getting a little bit of frame rate drop here. Oh great, now we have to catch it. There we go. Right, let's wash it off before we do anything with it. There we go. Okay, so we put this on here, and... Looks like that lowered a lift. Orange is over there, blue is here. There we go. And... There we go. Hmm. Science isn't about why, it's about why not. Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science that you love so much? In Getting fact, a little bit of lag. A special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out because you are fired. Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you. Box your stuff. Out the front door. Park your car. <laughs> Goodbye. 
So we just fired somebody. For some reason I seem to be getting a little bit of uh, frame rate drop in that last test chamber. It's the a bit weird. You're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of That's what I'm science, done. I thank you for your participation and Exit. hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not hmm. going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top um. physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Huh. Say goodbye, so Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. So I don't see any way that I can get through that. Is there any productive or conductive surfaces anywhere? We've got that one there. It doesn't look like we've got any others. I suppose if we put one over there, we can get over there, and maybe that's the way out. So... Yeah, here we go. Okay, so... <clears throat> let's see. We have this here, which takes you over to that. And we have two of those, and... Alright, so let's go up there, and then hmm. So we can't shoot a portal through the glass, so that we can use momentum. Um, I wonder if we could. No, that won't work. Or what if we... We do have this other one here, so if we use that and that, and then put the orange... Oh, there we go. Hmm. That works. Gel pressure control, so we just turned on these gel thingies. Wait, what is the orange? We know what the blue is, but the orange is, uh... Is this the exit? Wow, that is a massive area up there. Okay, so... What next? Guessing we need to get over the control room. Friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 okay. Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone Anything book up here? I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make sixty dollars? Oh, wait, what's that? You can also hit the red button. For up to or remember, if you see an orange jumpsuit, the hit the red button. Than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Okay, so I think what I'm nope. supposed to do is put that Couldn't there, and then this anyway, here. Don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch there we anything, go. unless it's tested. Oh, hi. Gladys? You're good at murder. Could you ow, murder this bird for me? Oh, oh, thanks. Go away, bird. Hi, Gladys. That idiot doesn't know what he's doing up there. This whole place is going to explode in a few hours if somebody doesn't disconnect him. I can't move. And unless you're planning to saw your own head off and wedge it into my old body, you're going to need me to replace him. We're at an impasse. So what do you say? You carry me up to him and put me back into my body, and I stop us from blowing up and let you go. Oh, should I trust Gladys? I'm not... This potato only generates 1.1 volts of electricity. I literally do not have the energy to lie to you. Even if I am <coughs> fine, what do you have to lose? You're going to die either way. That's true. Oh, there's a button. Uh, I stabbed the portal gun through Gladys. <laughs> That's funny. Gladys just die? The 
light went out. Okay. So if I... Gladys seems very angry. Well, that's not close enough. Um, uh, let's get out of that portal loop. Okay, so I wonder if we could just use the momentum. And there we go. Hmm. Notice we're going through the symbol. Alright, what next? Chapter 7, The Reunion. The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. Carolyn, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes sir, sir, Mr. Johnson. Why did I just... Who is that? What the hell is going on here? Uh... What just happened? Carolyn and Gladys both just <laughs> said the same thing as a response to him at the same time. Huh. That's interesting. Oh wait, so we've got this orange. Oh, button here. I didn't even notice that at first. Hmm. So that's speed. And... That should work. There's a ramp there, it looks like. Okay, so that means that if I go over here... There we go. Okay, so... Looks like we need to make this slick. I wonder why there's... Oh, I see. I think. How am I supposed to get up there, though? Um, hmm. Huh, this is questionable, because... If I'm supposed to get it over there, then how am I supposed to... Hmm. That's not conductive, it doesn't look like it. So... Huh. This is... interesting. How am I supposed to get the... gel... onto... Here, because I have to press the button, so... <clears throat> did we ever see what that button does over there? I don't think I did. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, this button here. Oh, I see. It puts that up. I get it. Not sure what that's going to do for us, actually. Oh, I think that's to exit up there and by having this up. Okay, so we need to get a cube and put it on here to get that to go up so that we can exit. I think that's how it works, at least. But I'm not sure how we're supposed to... How exactly we're supposed to go about getting that area in there slick. Because we can't press this button from well how long does it take for this to go down all right so we okay so it lasts a little while so I press that go across here 
Oh, it worked. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that actually worked. Nice. So there we go. Um. So go through here then, and then go back through there. Okay, that works. I didn't think we could actually beat that, like, time it correctly or anything. I thought the gel would have went too fast for me to get all the way over there and shoot a portal. Okay, so now I should just be able to do that. Alright, there we go. And then we need to use momentum to hit that button. Why are we getting the momentum? Um, hmm, it's a good question. Alright, well, I think if we can get the portal onto that surface. Or wait. Huh. We need momentum. Where can we get momentum? Oh, what if we... Do that. Get that. Huh. Didn't work out quite as well as I had hoped. I want to get it. There we go, that should do. And then what we can do is we can... Right, we can... Oh, no, no! Ah! Okay. Right, so, let's get back over there. Alright, so what we can do is, once we get... If we get this gelled, then we can use the momentum from running across that into that to shoot us upwards. That should hopefully work. Just need to get that. Oh wait, why can't we just use this one? Right, we could just use that one, couldn't we? Right, so if we go back through here, and we should just be able to run like this. Oh, no. No, oh, come on. Let me through. Let me through. Come on. Alright, I guess we're running this way then. Because it won't let me back through that way for some reason. Okay. I guess emotional outbursts require more than 1.6 volts. Now we know that. We just need to relax. We're still going to find out what the hell's going on here, but calmly. Such language, Gladys. <laughs> Alright, uh... So there's the blue. So we're gonna need to use both. That last test was a little bit trickier than the other ones. Okay, so if we do that... That'll make that... Okay, so... Let's see... Let's go across and... Oh, wait a second. Let's not go across! Uh... Huh. Right, so... Wait, what, ha what would happen if I did this? I'm curious. Hmm. So I'm not sure. Looks like there's a panel right on the other side of that. I need to get over there somehow. Oh, I see. So if I go ahead and put blue, whoops, 
Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, so we put orange here. And then we go ahead and we put that there and this here. And then we put blue at the end of it. We should be able to run and jump. Run and jump. Alright, so let's put that back there and then... Right, we need to go up there. I see. So let's see, is that... Right, so this should be able to have momentum to get me across to the exit. Alright, so let's put the orange here. And then the blue there. And then run across and jump. Perfect. War hero and or Olympian. With your help, we're gonna take the world. This on. Hey, listen up down there. That thing's called an elevator, not a bathroom. I swear I know him. 